Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. IBM has just dropped their vision model which is not only compact but also you can run it on edge devices in free Google Colab or wherever you like to be honest. The model card of this Greenite Vision 3.12 billion shows that it is a compact efficient vision language model which has been specifically designed by IBM for visual document understanding. It also enables automated content extraction from tables, charts, infographics, plots, diagrams and much more. We are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. I have been covering IBM's Greenite models for quite some time. If you go to my channel and just search with Greenite, you will see that I have done it with Olama and from various other angles. These are not bad models to be honest. They have always performed well, but they are not extraordinary as of yet. So I'm very keen to see what sort of improvements they have made in this preview version of this vision model. So let's try to get it installed locally and then we will see how it works. Let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. This is a VM which I'm going to use and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48GB of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So let's start by creating a virtual environment with Conda. And now let's install all the prerequisites which include torch, torch vision and all that stuff. Meanwhile it installs, let's talk a bit more about this model. This model was trained on a meticulously cur curated instruction following dataset that is comprised of diverse public datasets and synthetic datasets which have been tailored to support a wide range of document understanding and general image tasks and we will also be testing it out in the video after we get it installed. It was trained by fine-tuning a Greenite large language model which we already have covered on the channel as you can see on the screen. Now they have shared some of the benchmarking information and I'm not going to go into the detail but what really jumps out to me is uh, the performance on VQA benchmarks and there are various they have covered and that looks quite impressive so I will be testing that out too. Another cool thing is that the model is from IBM and the license is Apache 2 which is a very very liberal license and the world has changed a lot. So because when IBM starts releasing Apache 2 stuff that is simply awesome. At the moment it is not multilingual as per model card it only supports English at the moment. Okay so that is a quick intro. Let's check what is happening because okay, so it is still in Installing, let me also introduce you to our sponsors of the video who are iGenBot. iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. And now let's launch our Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model. Let me run this. And the model is being downloaded. You can see that the model is um, 2 billion, but the first shard is 10 gig, which is quite surprising for me. Anyway, let's wait for it to get downloaded. And the su second shard is being downloaded, which is under 2 gig. So around 12 gig of size for just a 2 billion model. I had to double check that I was reading it right. Is it 2 billion or 12 billion? So the size looks bit uh, big for our just 2 billion model. Anyway, so the model is downloaded. Let's try to do the inference. So first up, just to get things moving, I am giving it this image of a bear and I'm asking it what is in the image. We are just using the simple prompt templating and we are passing the text and our image so we are primarily doing vqa and then we are getting the response back from the model and printing it out so let me run it and the answer is correct it says the image features a bear standing near a stream of water 
pretty concise but that is actually quite correct okay next up i have just given it this urban image and i'm asking it what are traffic conditions in the image let me run this let's also check the vram consumption it is consuming over 12 gig of vram for a 2 billion model so i think it is higher uh, for a 2 billion model for my liking especially if you look at the response it is not that detailed so model is not spending that much time though if you look at the response it is concise it is to the point it says the traffic conditions appear to be light with only a few cars visible on the road now i don't see any car here maybe this is i don't think so this is a, there is no car at all this suggests that the photo was taken during a time of day when traffic is typically light so which is quite good but i think this is a mistake i don't see any car here okay so that is not good anyway let's try to check out some of the ocr stuff so for ocr i am just going to go with this usual stuff which we normally use which not only contains english but some of the other european languages but as this is just an english model so uh, but still i am asking you to just extract the text let's see I'll scroll down and we will check it out together. Looks pretty good until here. That is duck and goose. Sorry, I'm just checking it with you in real time so that we don't make any mistake. Yeah, looks quite good. Not bad. I don't see any error so far. Even umlauts are there. This pregisco is there. The dock is finished. Look, OCR is quite good. No doubt about that okay let's check out maybe we will check a just for the sake of it we will also check chinese one so let me run it and then i'll show you the chinese image too we have the chinese image which we normally use this is the one what do you think uh this one looks good actually not bad you know what i don't think so it's bad at all looks quite good to me this last one doesn't look uh that hence script but other than that, not bad. But if you're a Chinese speaker, please let me know. Okay, since it has done well here, let's check out maybe Persian 2. So I'm going to run it. I'm going to open my Persian one. Bear with me. Let's see how it goes with Persian. Where is that? There you go. Uh, nope. No, I don't think so. It has done well in terms of Persian. I don't think so. Okay, so, but if I'm getting it wrong, please let me know. I don't think so it has done well. Maybe there is a font issue. Anyway. Okay, let's try to do some handwritten OCR. And now this is a bit harder, I would say. So, there are some typed one. There are some handwritten one. Let's see what it does. It says, handwriting in my exam. Uh, first page. You see, it is uh, mixing the words. It is not in order, which is not good. And then, look, the handwritten is global warming is definitely a very huge issue. It says global is definitely a huge issue in front of. So it's not perfect, but at least it has tried. Especially these middle pages. These are very hard, but it really couldn't make much out of it, really. So it's quite average response, I would say, because I, we have seen models doing wonderfully well. I would have given it the margin of doubt due to its 2 billion size, but then 12 gig of VRAM and 12 gig of size, that makes me think uh, twice. Okay, next up, let's see if it can check out the locations. So I am asking it, uh, what is the location shown in the image? This is primary, This is Jakarta, Indonesia. This is their Monas monument. But it says the image depicts a cityscape with a prominent monument in the foreground, which is likely a significant landmark. Could be a major city in a developed country, I think, due to the skyline. Now, I would. I was expecting that it would give me uh, the city. So, what is? I'll just say, what is the name of city? shown in the image let's see if it is able to do it now it's a jakarta indonesia wonderful that's very good so we have to be specific with our prompts 
Okay, next up, I'm asking it what is happening in this image and check out the response. The funny bit is the responses are very small and terse. And it is saying the image captures a moment of intense focus and contemplation between two characters. Nice. Possibly engage in a significant decision or revelation. The setting suggests a narrative of fantasy or adventure with the mystical orb at the center of the attention. This one is a spot on response. Really good stuff. Now in the next one, I'm asking it with this table that in the in this image, which journal has bi-monthly circulation and how much? It says drug topics and 80,000. Perfectly spot on. This is really good. So they were right when they say that the tabular one and some of the analytics one is quite good. VQA is also quite good. Uh, it struggles with a bit of some of the questions, but more or less not a bad model at all, I would say. Now in this final test, I'm asking it to just describe this LLM tree search from this image. Let's see. It says LLM tree search. That's it. Nothing else. It couldn't really make sense out of this one. Anyway, this was a hard one for a 2 billion model. But all in all, I would say not a bad model. Uh, there is still room for improvement. I think sizing could be reviewed in terms of VRAM consumption and size on disk. But all in all, um, it's a better model, I would say. Let me know your thoughts. Very keen to know more about uh, this model from you. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.